Uh, good evening, Miss Hannah. Yes, good evening to you, and it's so nice to see you on screen. <laughs> and did I say it correctly? I miss you. Yeah, that's correct. I miss you too. What is this United Voices Cebu all about? It's an honor then of your low felt eye to be interviewed by you and to really explain what is United Voices Cebu and what they are doing. You know, UBC stands for United Voices Cebu. Okay? I remember the time when the team made, made this um, very meaningful united so because you know Filipinos are really you know united the voices it means like you know different voices so we use our voice to help and also we use our voice to tell okay, something that what we can help okay and then this is based on Tibu it doesn't mean that we're not doing anything we feel bored but no we are we are all busy in the team we have our own jobs, we have our own work, but we were we gathered together to to organize, to organize this fundraising and we are so thankful for all the members of United Voice of Cebu. So I would just like to say hi to all of them. So just the names are secret, except my face now. <laughs> so no choice, I'm their spokeswoman. We are the we are a group of um, different individuals we just want advocacy we just want heart because of course you cannot you cannot be together if your hearts are different if your goals are different okay so when this pandemic came so it came into our senses so it's like a calling this gen mm. that okay so it's an awareness it's an awareness that why not do something more than productive mm -hmm. so even though each of us in the team are very busy and we all have each um, functions, but still we help each other's function. But we say that this thing, organizing this fundraising is worth giving our time. Mm -hmm. It's really worth giving our time and we're thankful to God as always for giving us ideas okay, from, from the from the planning and what we are going to do, okay? So, United Voices team organize gather local artists in Cebu, okay? But not just artists in Cebu, Cebu Miss Jen, but we also have from out, outside Cebu. It's not just in Cebu. People outside Cebu are also helping United Voices Cebu, and we are so thankful for that. United Voices Cebu is is connected with PBSP Miss Jen. So yeah, stands for Philippine Business for Social Progress. Okay. So meaning they are the one who will receive all the proceeds and all the donations mm -hmm. of all of all the people who donated and future donors as well. So Miss Jen in the team will not receive any mm -hmm. any pro anything. So we are just doing the the organizing of the artist and then PBSP will receive all the proceeds as you can see guys every time we will have a set so our schedule is Monday mm -hmm. Wednesday Friday and Saturday mm -hmm. so each of these days we have three artists from 8 p.m. 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. so you can choose your time is Jen Someday, <laughs> okay. You can use your, you can choose your time slot. I just had a a new report from PBSP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I or I as what I have explained the function of PBSP in, yeah. in cooperation with PBSP with United Voices. So we started from May eight. Our first set and performance mm -hmm. was on May eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, with our three three artists. Okay, and up, up to now we are still. Um, scheduling our performances mm -hmm. and then as you can see every set every performances we posted okay, the artist will pin the comment in every live on yeah. how to donate so all the accounts uh, being put there are all the accounts of BBSP as you can see this one is to support the relief efforts of BBSP in Cebu okay, especially in the like you know those who are really 
people that's really having difficulties okay so i will just um i will just update you with what pbsp also are doing mm -hmm. so far already okay, okay. They, ha they have distributed over five thousand okay over five thousand food and vegetable packs to different urban poor communities okay mm -hmm. so thank you thank you for all the donation they were able to donate ppe PPS to DOH hospitals in oh. isolation centers in Cebu. Third one is hygiene kits to Barrio Luz centers. Oh. Okay, Barrio Luz is yeah, it's a place that got really affected. As they were able to send hygiene kits okay, to Barrio Luz centers and Bayanihan centers. And lastly, they were they were able to donate also PPS and face masks to Cebu City Jail. So, yeah. what does PBSP stands for? Philippine Business for Social Progress. So they are really a big, yeah, a big group. Mm -hmm. So they were able to, uh, we are so thankful that we were able to connect with them as well. Okay? To, to do this thing and for them to receive all the donation. So Miss Hannah, like aside from United Voices Cebu, can you like tell us what are you up to though? Because you you have mentioned that you you're a busy woman, and despite being busy, you gave time for United Voices Cebu, which is I'm really grateful for that. Thank you because I'm a Cebuana, taga Cebu ko, so I feel for Cebu really that 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 big that huge. But maybe you can also tell us like what what are you doing? Okay, I'm a very proud family member of Winning English School. I would like to say hi, ni hao, to all Winning English School family. <laughs> it's owned by Taiwanese and you know, shout out to Sir Malcolm and Sir Stanley. I'm proud to say being a Filipino teaching English okay, because we have the, this patience. Okay, we are patient enough. Okay, and not just that Filipino teachers are handsome, okay, Pialian. not just that they, they are capable, Filipino mm -hmm. teachers or Cebuano teachers are very much capable to teach English. So right now, is there are a lot of, you know, Cebuano teachers, Filipino teachers that are teaching online classes. We are currently promoting as well our online classes. Yeah, I will be talking more about that when I talked about um, the major sponsors because um, Winning English is also one of the sponsors and United Voices, thanks to my two bosses who has always a kind heart. Yeah, mm -hmm. to all yes, always a ready to ready to help. BBSP is the one doing the field work. They are the one who will distribute. So as what they have mentioned here, they were able to distribute to urban poor communities. Okay, so in Lapu Lapu and in Cebu City, as the whole Cebu province. So the priority for that one for the relief goods are the urban poor communities. Okay. okay they, to for the to distribute the relief relief efforts. We don't know if the case will raise or mm -hmm. if the case will will become low. So mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. government preparing those quarantine centers and also they but PBSP is more on focus on the urban poor, poor areas in distributing food because they need to eat yeah every, they need to eat every day yeah so that's... the details of how they they give it is like we will leave it to PBSP but they can check as well the website of PBSP mm -hmm. they have the pictures and videos there Yes, we can really see, you know, the smile and how happy they were when they received the relief goods. So if I'm one of the donors and I, I can see that picture that, oh my goodness, my, my 1,000 or my 500 were, was able to give a joy to family. So it's really already, you know, a big, big help. What is 100 pesos yeah. to one family? We can already eat that one. So... Um, so it's really good because um, helping each other it's not a you know it helping each other is not a duty it's not a duty it's like more on a cop it's automatic automatic it should be like you know innate in a person yes and then we are so thankful for those who donated because even though the economy you know we as we all know companies are closing but still 
these sponsors and donors still give. So I think we all have the same principles like mm -hmm. blessings beget blessings. So you bless people, so you then you will bless as well. So that's why just like you, yes, Sheshe and giving us this time for yes, for United Voices because I know you're also a busy, a very busy woman. So we are so thankful. Yeah, thankful enough. Yeah. And then we do believe that guys we can all we can all do all all these things which mm -hmm. shall pass. Even B is really has a big partnership as well with Bayanihan Musikahan, mm -hmm. yeah, which they were able to really raise. They, they posted like how much they were they raised already. They posted in their Facebook, so it's quite big already. So it's re it will really um, help to a, to a lot of people. But there are also other people who are giving donations to PBSP as well and United Voices is one is one of them but sometimes it's it's hard to it's hard for them to to have you know to check if this is from United Voices mm -hmm. or if this is from just an individual donor yeah so it's it's they kind of pinpoint but they can give us a like a update of reports yeah, but we don't know if it's from United Voices or if it's from another donors as well. But what, the good thing is you can see it on their website. Like you, you can see it yeah. clearly how much they got from all the donors and then how yeah. much they, they spend. Because I saw that too. And I think uh, we share the link, right? And the viewers can click yeah. it. And from there, they will know what, what we've been talking about. So even though United on screen, but still... The spirit of being united is there. Yeah, it's like, like what now. we always say, Bayanihan, the Bayanihan spirit of the Filipino people still lives within us, even if, uh, regardless of our generation. You see, like, we're 1980s, uh, 90s, and 20s, but still, everyone's willing to participate and share their talent. And thank you. Thank you, really. So what we can do in the future for our United Voices Cebu artists is we will recommend them to our for events okay because we have um, connections as well mm -hmm. so we can all this united voices people we can um recommend them like to our future to our clients and to future events because for sure this thing will finish yeah. i mean this corona thing will you know will listen and then entertainment entertainment will go back so we can recommend this artist in and the events based on their genre. So just like these artists, they're warriors. Like even though they, they don't have a job, they weren't able to play yet, just yet, but still mm -hmm. they are willing to share, you know, their talent and to help. Even though nothing, you know, we, we don't pay them because it's a fundraising. But God is looking. They God knows how to bless a kind heart. And yeah. it's a biblical so um we know that God, the one, that, the God that we are serving is really a living God. For sure, He knows what He's doing. So everything, everything is a reason. Okay? So whatever circumstances that we ha we are in now, still we can see God's faithfulness. God is still always faithful. God will still do something in this city. Okay, because we know, like you know, how powerful God is. Anything else you wanted to tell the artists and maybe our viewers and uh, everyone? Yes, um, thank you so much for watching us mm -hmm. and thank you so much for giving your time listening about this one for United Voices to all the artists, to all the viewers, yeah. the future donors, yeah. and the future artists. Yeah. They, let's all hang on together because yeah. God is with us. Yeah. And God is with us and we can do anything. Anything is possible with God. Because even now, even though like corona times but still we were able to do some things. You know yeah. how how strong Filipinos, Miss Jen, because we are in the midst of this, you know, difficult circumstances. True. But still we get to hold on. We we need to get to hold on to God. And one thing that I would like to share is just in everything, in everything, give time, give thanks. Yeah. Because 
God's will is God's will. But for sure, God will not give us a, He will not give us, you know, a difficult times that we cannot, we cannot hang on on it. Exactly. It we hang on to God's faithfulness. Okay, and how, that's great. Yeah, it's God's grace. It's just by God's grace that we were able to, you know, still alive at this time. Of course, to those people who sponsored and shared their blessings, we are grateful. We cannot thank you enough for that. And um, all those people affected by this coronavirus 2019, I know they're they're happy. And uh, you just extended the life. And it's not that easy for 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 a person to be a victim of this unknown virus. And we don't even have a vaccine yet. But then we are just glad that for now, we are okay. And the most important thing is they're happy. And that's what United Voices Cebu is. We make people happy amidst of coronavirus. And uh, you're reaching a lot of people. Thank you for that. And also, thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, guys, who stayed and who shared this one as well. Yes, good night. Thank you, guys. Good night. Thank you so much for being with us. Shay, shay.